In this video I'm going to be doing an autumn fall makeup look using new or new to me products and trying something a little bit different for me, a minimalist makeup look. Now this video is in collaboration with my very good friend Cindy from Beyond 50 Skin. We met a couple of years ago on YouTube and we bonded as relatively new YouTubers learning our trade so to speak. Now our makeup approaches are quite different. Cindy's is minimalist but with very precise techniques and mine is rather more slapdash. But we thought it would be fun to see what we could both come up with for fall 2024. Now let me tell you a little bit about Cindy. She's a trained esthetician and has been making the most in-depth and well-researched videos on skincare treatments and devices along with minimalist makeup demos on YouTube for about four years. I love Cindy's focus on weeding out the BS. Because of her background, she's able to communicate research into really easy to understand bite-sized chunks to give us, the viewer, the info we need in order to make informed decisions about our purchases. Plus, she's self-deprecating, funny and engaging. So when you've watched my video, please go over and watch Cindy's video and see what she comes up with for fall 2024. So without further ado, let's get into a fall makeup look. Right, let me pin my hair back. It's a beautiful sunny day. Now it has been quite chilly. Autumn seems to have descended upon us without so much as a by your leave. It went from very warm to really quite chilly and the heating's been on for the last couple of nights. I know. But it's a sunny autumn day and we like that, don't we? It's Saturday morning and I'm going to put my face on. Now I'm going to start with a new product and I think it is actually new, not just new to me. And it's the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Primer. Now now I'm not a massive primer user but if you've seen any of my recent videos I've been using primer under my eyes in order to stop my concealer congealing and although some people have said that I probably shouldn't have used the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless filter under my eyes and I know what you mean it can look a little bit too shiny a little bit too uh, this isn't that. This is an actual primer. It hasn't got any particles that make it sparkly or anything like that, like the Charlotte Tilbury. So I think, and I've only used this a couple of times because I literally just got it this week, I think this might do the bizzo. So let's see. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to pat it. It's, it comes in a nice tube. I do like things in a tube. I think it's easier to control what comes out, as it were, and not overdo things as I have a tendency to do. So I'll just pop a bit on the back of my hand. And what I also like about this is it's gel. Look, it's a clear gel. Now my lovely friend Kat from Cat's Eye Beauty, whose channel, apart from Cindy's, I will also link down below for you. She tried this out, I think it was last week, and I was sold. When she tried it out, I thought, hmm, this sounds right up my alley. So I think she was right. Actually, I've applied a bit too little. Let's, um, let's get a bit more because I forgot it was a gel. Let's do that. That's better, isn't it? There we go. That's better. Now, I had my eyelashes lifted yesterday, which is one of my favourite things to do. It changed my life. I think the beauty therapist in the salon yesterday when I said that an ash that an ash, that an eyelash lift had changed my life, thought I was a bit mad. I mean, I'm exaggerating, of course, but it has in a way because my life used to be get my eyelash curlers, heat them up with a hairdryer, then apply them and then after about half an hour my lashes would have fallen again. So they've never looked as good as they do now and that's a combination of the lash lift and also using the and also using an eyelash growth serum. Now I think what we might do just for fun actually is put a bit of blurring primer on my cheeks as well just to see if it does any blurring. Now this is a minimalist makeup look so there's not a lot of product going to be used in this video. Now normally and I have done some fall autumn makeup looks over the last couple of years in fact I remember doing one was it in my first year maybe it was in my second year on YouTube so that probably was 2022 but I'll link it down below for you anyway because you'll be able to see there are a lot more products used than we're going to be using today and the makeup 
makeup was really quite a bit heavier but I think actually although as I say this is a bit of a departure for me this makeup look my makeup application has changed a bit I mean in the summer it always does anyway because I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup in the summer particularly eye makeup but I wonder whether I am moving towards a minimalist look I don't know I'll probably change in the winter because in the winter I just want to pile a lot of things on my face because I enjoy putting the makeup on that's part of the process isn't it? that's part of the sort of staying in in the winter and drawing in our horns as it were and, and hunkering down to keep out the cold and putting makeup on is part of that anyway I'm waffling now let's go with the foundation now for foundation we are going to use the elf soft glam satin foundation which I have in I think the shade 25c and by the way all the details of all the products I talk about will be down below in the description box and I will also pin them in a comment now I reviewed this foundation about two weeks ago I think again this was down to Kat who recommended it and I'm absolutely loving it it's not too runny which I like it's a medium coverage it says it's a satin finish and I would say that's probably right easy to apply and I'm very reasonably priced as all e.l.f. products are and I'm using my BK Beauty 101 brush to apply it because I find that it is the best foundation brush ever. There are some other good ones around, but those painty type ones, which I do like for cream product, I can't get on with them for foundation at all. This is definitely more me. It just, because I think I'm just not, I was never any good at art. I was absolutely rubbish at art actually. And I don't have a very dexterous hand. So I think anything that I can go in with that sort of does the work for me then that's what I like and I find that this brush actually does let me just zoom you in just to show you how before I've even gone in with the sponge the brush has really done the work I mean that does look really good doesn't it don't you think I mean that is just applying it with the brush straight on easy application really easy application and I just think it's an absolute winner that foundation I really do so we'll just for belt and braces we'll just do a little damp sponge pouncing okay now we're going to go in with concealer and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Concealer and I have it in the shade N25 so we've got a nice angled doe foot and I'm just going to put a little bit here just to come down here and there oh it's a little bit in the corner there and then I'm going to pat it in my fingers and then go in with a damp beauty sponge like so and then we'll get my damp beauty sponge I'm really enjoying these angled ones this was a Wayne Goss idea this was when I tried to do that slightly ridiculous idea of his I think which was what the hell was it now which was dipping your doe foot dipping your doe foot into powder and then applying the concealer which I don't think worked at all for me I know it did for some people but really it was a bit of a disaster on me and actually I think what we'll do is we'll just tap a bit on the lids as well we are going to go in with powder in a minute I'm just going to zoom you in just so you can see that's not too bad there's a little bit of congeal well not congealing just a little bit of gathering as it were under here but this side is better I think maybe I could have put a bit more primer on or perhaps let it settle a little bit but anyway I think it's fine and once the powder's on hopefully we won't see any of that okay so now we're going to go in with powder and I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury those of you who watched my channel before won't be surprised to see it very well used hit pan I have got loads of other powders but just for this video I think because we're trying to be minimalist and we are trying to be quick although obviously this video isn't quick but if I wasn't waffling on I'd have done it in about maybe seven minutes so that's the idea we're just using minimum products for maximum result oh and I'm in the shade medium by the way so we're just going to pat under the eyes and we'll just pat a bit on the lids as well because we are going to be using something on the eyes which I will be revealing very Shortly. there we are I think we've sorted out that congealing actually I think that looks okay and we'll just come down here a bit just because I do find I'm a little bit more combo these days so just to fend off any potential glistening where we don't want glistening especially on our upper lip now we're going to do eyebrows next and those of you who watched my channel before will know that I have fallen in love with the Laura Mercier eyebrow pencil this one here I have it in the shade blonde 
And actually talking of blonde, I don't know whether you've noticed or perhaps you'll see later. I went to the hairdressers, so I've had a haircut, you may have spotted. And also I've had a very slightly lighter toner put on my hair because I was finding that it made my skin a little bit too warm looking and I'd actually not been able or not felt comfortable wearing any silver jewellery, which was a bit sad because I do wear gold and silver, I like both. And I was really disappointed that my silver jewellery didn't seem to be suiting me. So I asked the hairdresser to put a, a different shade of toner on. And I think it has worked, actually. Let me know in the comments what you think, those of you who've seen me before. Do you think this... Do you notice a difference or not? And what do you think of the shorter hair? I think it's probably better, isn't it? Because it was looking a bit straggly and I hadn't had it cut since February. Sorry, I've been waffling on. I brushed my brows up like so, and then I'm just gonna fill them in with the pencil. And I think this pencil, one of the reasons I love it so is because you actually do get the pigment you need from the pencil adhering to your skin. Because you know, I've got to, because I've got this gap here and I need to fill it. And when I was trying it with other waxy brow pencils that, well, they weren't really pencils, they were more like crayons, like the hourglass one, I just wasn't getting anything on my skin anymore. I'm sure I used to, but anyway, it just didn't seem to be working anymore. But this is a, but this is a great pencil, it really is good. See, look at that. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm going to brush my brows up like this to make them look a bit laminated, just to see whether that gives us a slightly more fall 2024 makeup look on my nearly 70 year old skin. I know I keep saying I'm nearly 70, but actually today, what's today? Today's the 14th, it's literally a week today as I'm recording this, which this is gonna come out tomorrow on the 15th. So by the time you see this, I will be six days away from being 70. It's so sort of, it seems so weird to say that I'm gonna be 70. <laughs> But that's the truth. I was born on the 22nd of September, 1954. So there you go. Rationing was still going on in the UK. Can you imagine that? Now, I'm really excited to be using this. I've hardly used it at all yet. And it's the Victoria Beckham Eyewear Eyeshadow Stick in Shroom. Now, I think I have worn this in videos, but I don't think I've talked about it yet. Now, I've got these in a couple of colors. I've got a green as well, which I am gonna be trying out at some point. But let me just swatch this one for you so you can see what Shroom looks like. I presume that's short for mushroom. <laughs> and that's it there. And it is a great color. I think it just, will suit everybody. And you know I like the pencils. I've talked about the pencils before and I have a couple of those, but I'm not gonna be using a pencil today. I'm just going to use this. And what I'm going to do is first apply it on my eyelids and then I'm going to apply it under my eye as well. And I'm also going to bring it out a bit here. Now this is something I struggle with quite a bit, but I was watching Andrea Ali applying this eyeshadow and she was suggesting, I don't, think, I don't know whether it was this shade, but it was, a similar shade anyway. I think it might have been a slightly different brown shade. And she was saying that this sort of shade suits every eye shape. And she showed or explained various techniques depending on the shape of eye you've got. Now I'm struggling a bit here because I can't actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> So you're gonna to have to trust me. Let's see if I can, oh yeah, that's better. So the idea is you put it on the lid and you bring it up a bit towards the eyebrow, which is always a challenge when you've got very, very wrinkly eyelids, Never mind hooded. It's the wrinkles that are the issue. And then she says, get a brush. I think we could come up just a little bit more. So let's do that and get our brush and just blend. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's do the other eye now. This is the more wrinkly eye. Right, I think that's about as even as I'm gonna get them on my eyelids. Now we're going to put a little bit under the eyes as well. I'm just gonna pull my eye to the side like this and just put it on. Okay, there we are. So we've got some on the lids and under. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. It does actually make my eyes look quite green, which is good. Green is good to coin a phrase or to slightly paraphrase. Now for lashes, we're sticking with the minimalist theme and I'm going to be using my Kitten Lash Mascara by Lisa Eldridge, this one here, which I think is a really great minimalist day-to-day -day mascara because it won't give you va-va-voom, but it will give you nice lifted and separated lashes. And it has a nice brush that isn't too thick or too thin and it's slightly angled. And I'm just going to apply it now. I'm not gonna to talk to you while I do it because I cannot talk to you and put, apply mascara at the same time. I just can't do it. I think actually there isn't a massive amount of product left in this. It's probably coming to the end of its life, but that's okay because we're going minimalist. Can you see one coat has already made a difference? 
but I do credit the lash lift for that as well. The next thing we're going to do is cheeks. Now for cheeks I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk and I really like this because it's almost a bronzer I would say. It's that sort of bronzy, I don't know what you'd call it really, it's sort of terracotta colour I guess, terracotta on the outside and very slightly peachy in the middle I suppose. Anyway I really like it and I think it's a good colour for an all over colour if you know what I mean because it, it is a sort of blusher bronzer in one. We're going to be judicious in our application meaning we're not going to be cat candy I'm trying to be a lot more gentle about my application of well all products really. I think this gives a nice kind of well not golden that's not the right colour because I don't want to look golden but it just gives a nice sort of dimension to the face without looking without looking because we don't want to look rosy because it's not the summer we want to look sort of autumnal. <laughs> so we want to look leaves fallen leaves that's what we're aiming for. <laughs> yeah I think that's plenty. I don't think we need any more but what we are going to do though just to put some glow back into the skin because we're a little bit matte at the moment I'm going to be using the Merit Day Glow in Bounce which is this one here let me just swatch a bit it's a great colour look at that it's a kind of a what do you call that kind of a champagne-y pink pink champagne-y colour and I think it looks really lovely and I'm just going to apply it right here at the top and then I'm going to blend it in like so. Again Merit is a very minimalist brand. I could have used a lot more Merit products but you don't want to just stick to one brand that's not what this video is about. But if you want a minimalist makeup look it is worth looking at Merit. The only thing I didn't like or all the products I do like I've talked about on this channel before the only ones I didn't like personally were the eyeshadows the one and done's but a lot of my fellow youtubers loved them but they just didn't work for me unfortunately but I have their blusher I have their complexion stick what else have I got of those lipstick yeah so they are a great brand it's just the shadows didn't work for me there I think that's just given a little bit of glow to my face that it might have needed after all that powder and now for the piece de resistance the lips and I'm going to be using the NYX lip pencil in nude beige love these pencils amazingly reasonably priced they come in so many shades I think this is a great universal shade though I'm just gonna uh, uh, um. And then we're going to finish off with another Lisa Eldridge product and this is the luxuriously lucent shade Painterly. I'll just swatch a tiny bit for you. Now, I did talk about this in my nude lipsticks video that I'll link down below for you which I did recently and I absolutely love this. I really like the shade and I also really like the fact that it's got that luxuriously lucent feel to it so it has got that sort of not too much shine but it's got some shine so you don't really need to wear a lip oil or a gloss over the top. It just feels so luxurious on the lips it really does. I'm just going to zoom you in so you can have a good close inspection. So here's the finished look what do we think? Do we think it's autumnal? Do we think it's minimalist? I know it's taken quite some time to actually put all the products on but when you break it down it really is just foundation, powder, concealer, mascara, eye stick, mascara and lipstick. Oh and blusher. Okay seven or eight products. It's not much. It's really quite a quick and easy makeup look and I think it is minimalist. It is minimalist for me. The only difference I suppose for me is well there's two differences really one is I haven't got eyeliner on which I usually always wear and the other is I've actually put the stick under my eyes which I wouldn't normally do I mean I used to do it back in the day but I haven't done it for quite some time and I really like it and using a stick just makes everything so easy so let me know in the comments what you think would you try this makeup look do you think I needed actually a blusher and a bronzer or is just this dark sort of bronzy blusher or bronzer enough what do you think and what do you think of the shorter and lighter hair and do go and check out Cindy's video now that you've watched this one and say hello from me and I can't wait to see what her makeup look looks like she's a completely different coloring from me as well as being a lot younger so it'll be really interesting to see her take on her full makeup look and if you've enjoyed this video I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel hitting the notification bell and of course giving me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and if you'd like to hear more from me I have a monthly newsletter and the link to subscribe to that is
is in the description box below. And in that, I don't just talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle, but also books, films, TV, podcasts, other content creators, and all the other bits and bobs that bring us joy. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I hope you're all doing really well. And I'll look forward to seeing you on my next one. Bye.